thinking a lot about uh, this letter that Emily Dickinson wrote to Thomas Higginson, where she says, every time I try to organize, my little force explodes. And when I think about that visually, I think about these efforts to try to bring all these things that I'm learning and all these disciplines that I'm trying to bring into focus together and that effort to organize and make them coherent. So there's a moment of explosion where they can't be contained in this perfect package. And so I think my installation practice is sort of organized around going between gathering things inside of frameworks and then sort of letting the little force explode and having sort of this dispersal of ideas and materials across the wall as sort of this compositional field in the same way that I might think about a compositional field of like a page in a book, if that makes sense. We speculate that everyone will be sage through the algebra. In the center of the keyboard are the arithmetic, operation, and numeric entry keys. As I For me, my practice is implicitly about trying to like do storytelling, not necessarily around my family, but around sort of the processes of collecting and then dispersing of material, but also sort of like this interest in thinking about uh, sort of the politics of collecting and archiving, who gets to have archives, who gets to call themselves an archivist, what does it mean to have to buy objects of black material culture from other people. I think there is an element of self-archiving um, where I am using sort of like this space as sort of a notational field for myself because I think so much of learning and how I've thought about learning has been through the practice of like annotation and close reading and so I wanted to sort of design a space that was akin to like a reading with your body but also having these moments of notation and marginalia or treating the exhibition space like the page of a book where there might be some footnoted text, there might be something in the gutter of a page, there might be these moments uh, where you have to like flip to the next page to get the thing. But I'm really interested in these notions of like holding things and releasing things. Because I think so much of like sort of academic learning um, within some of the academic institutions is about holding on to things, conquering knowledge, uh, claiming ownership over knowledge, holding, grasping, and so I'm really interested in sort of this opposite um, gesture, which is not trying to like hold knowledge in your hand to own it, but to actually be okay with having it grace your hand to fill it, but not feeling a compulsion to hold it as your own. And so you'll see hands that are sort of like tightly, tightly clenched, and you also see these hands that are sort of released, and so I think there is sort of this interplay again between modes of dispersal where things are being allowed to spread and sprawl and not be contained, and these moments of trying to hold things together. But if I think if we keep going back to Emily Dickinson, each time we try to like pull everything into focus to make everything coherent, to make everything neat and tidy, as she says, my little force explodes. The circumference of an imaginary period. For this show, I wanted to think of more autobiographically, and I think the 1985 in a lot of ways is sort of marking this moment where I materially showed up in the world as like a human with flesh and bones and sort of matter. Um, and sort of like as a testament that the thing that happened when I came into this world, uh, whatever that learning looked like as a baby, going into a child, going into an adult, that process is still continuing. And so for me in a lot of ways it was marking time to say 1985 is when this process started uh, while also recognizing that the process won't ever end. I don't expect people to come in and be like, well, this show is about blah, 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 and now I get it. Like, I'm still processing it, so why would I hold that expectation for an audience to be able to come in with an answer? But I hope, if nothing else, sort of like being, the takeaway is being able to walk away without knowing everything. This idea that something might require multiple reads, that it might actually be okay if the thing that you come out of this with is something that the, the creator had no expectation of.